Hello mga kaagham! Welcome back sa quarter 2, week 4 ng ating science lesson part 3. Ito ang Distinguishing Characteristics of Vertebrates and Invertebrates. For the objectives of our lesson, number 1, classify animals as to vertebrates and invertebrates. Pangalawa, practice ways of proper caring and protecting animals. So let us recall. Vertebrates are characterized by the presence of backbone or vertebral column. Sila yung mga vertebrates. Meron silang buto sa likod. Pangalawa, invertebrates are characterized by the absence of, of backbone. Ito naman yung mga hayop na walang buto sa likod. Ikatlo, vertebrates are those animals that belong to the group of birds, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. So kapag kabilang sila sa limang grupo na yon, sila ay mga vertebrates. While invertebrates are those animals that belong to the group of protozoan, worms, echinoderms, mollusk, and arthropods. So kung kabilang naman sila sa grupong ito, sila ay mga invertebrates. So let us discuss a little bit further. Unahin natin ang vertebrates. So, ang mga vertebrates are animals na may buto sa likod. They are egg layers, nangingitlog. They are live bearers, yung iba'y nanganganak. They are covered with fur, hair, o di kaya ay feathers. Some are cold-blooded, katulad ng reptiles, fishes, and amphibians, while others are warm-blooded, kagaya ng mammals at saka mga birds. Some can fly, swim like a fish, crawl like snakes, walk like lions, tiger, horses, carabaos, and others. They reproduce sexually, meaning kailangan nila ng kapartner, isang babae at isang lalaki para sila ay makapagparami. Some group have mammary glands o meron silang mammary gland in which they feed their young with milk. Nagpapadedi sila ng kanilang mga baby. Some are domesticated or inaalagaan, katulad ng horses, cows, carabaos, goat, while others can be taken care as pet at home, katulad ng uh, rabbit, dog, and cats. Punta naman tayo sa invertebrates. Kabaligtaran, sila yung mga walang buto sa likod without backbone. Single-celled, katulad ng protist, amoeba, o yung mga protozoan. While most of invertebrates are multicellular, kagaya ng mollusk, they are soft-bodied, or soft body, they have soft bodies. They are covered with shells, or exoskeleton that undergo molting, o nagpapalit-balat, naglulunok. While other undergo the process of metamorphosis or nagpapalit anyo, katulad ng butterfly, tsaka ng uh, mosquitoes at ng iba pang insect, they reproduce either sexually or asexually. Nakakapagparami sila kahit wala silang partner. Yung iba naman, kailangan ng kapartner. They differ in the number of legs. Iba-iba ang bilang ng kanila mga paa. Some are free living or nabubuhay sa tabi-tabi, while others are parasitic o nabubuhay sa loob ng katawan ng isang organismo o ng isang hayop. Some species have tentacles katulad ng squid and octopus, while others have spiny appearance katulad ng sea animal, sea urchin, and starfishes. So yan, tandaan. Sagutan naman natin ito. Tell whether the statement describes invertebrates or vertebrates. 1. They are soft-bodied animals with shells and found on marine or salt water. The answer is letter I, invertebrates. Next, these animals have six legs. And a pair of antennae on their head, kagaya ng ants. The answer is, I pa rin. Invertebrates. 
Next, they are covered with feathers. They have beaks, may mga tuka. So they are V vertebrates. These animals can live both in land and in water. They have soft, wet, and slimy skin. So gaya ng mga amphibians. Okay, they are vertebrates. These animals are either free living or parasitic. Yung iba naman, they burrow themselves under the soil o nasa ilalim ng lupa. O yung iba naman, they are living inside the human or animal's intestine. Mga worms. So they are invertebrates. So yan. Next. Look at the picture and classify them whether vertebrates or invertebrates. So, penguin. Mayroon silang backbone kabilang sa bird. They are, you got it right, vertebrates. Next, meron silang six legs. Oh, this is a kind of beetle. Correct. They are invertebrates. Next, shark. Meron silang fins, tails. So, they are vertebrates. Next, lizard. They are cold-blooded. Tama. They are vertebrates. And sea anemone. They are living in a marine water with spiny appearance. Soft-bodied. They are Invertebrates. Nakuha niyo bang lahat? Dako na tayo sa susunod. Caring and protecting animals. Of course, hindi naman lahat ng animals ay harmful. Uh, most of the animals are beneficial or useful to human. Yung iba ay may mga pakinabang. So, animals have basic needs. Just like humans, they also need food. Nangangailangan sila ng food, water, air, sunlight, and shelter. So, yan yung mga basic need nila. Na kapag wala yan, syempre, hindi sila mabubuhay. Mamamatay sila. So, some animals like dodo, tooth saber tiger, and mammoth are Extinct. Pag sinabi natin extinct, they no longer exist. We can only see them on the pages of the books, encyclopedia, or even in a computer website. Doon na lang natin sila nakikita kasi extinct na nga sila. Bakit sila nag-extinct o nawala sa mundo? Because hindi uh, nabigay o hindi na naprovide ang kanilang mga pangangailangan. Dahil na rin sa mga tao, siguro hinahag sila ng mga tao. So, papaano ba natin mapangangalagaan ang mga hayop na ito? Una, give them food and shelter. So, yung kabundukan, kagubatan, shelter nila yan. Pangalawa, give them their needed vaccination. Ito ay applicable naman sa mga hayop na inaalagaan natin sa bahay para hindi sila tabla ng mga nakamamatay na sakit. Next, never hunt animals to support your hobby. Huwag natin silang uh, i-hunt o yung sobrang pangangaso, no? Isa yun sa mga dahilan kung bakit nauubos ang mga hayop sa kagubatan. Pang-apat, let them live in a safe environment. So, kung sila ay inaalagaan, Mas maganda kung yung environment na iyon ay pinangangaalagaan din laban sa mga mapang-abusong tao. At, panglima, report abuse. Yan. Next, so, are you ready for another? So, write the letter of your answer on the next question. Which of the following birds have strong, sharp claws and beaks for catching prey? A, birds of prey. B. Flightless birds, C. Water birds, or D. Perching birds. Next, which of the following animals is not a reptile? A. Lizard, B. Salamander, C. Snake, D. Turtle. Next, 
What are marsupial mammals? Example nito, kangaroo ha. These are mammals with pouch or belly. Or, these are mammals with pouch on their belly. B, these are mammals that lay eggs. C, these are mammals that fly. Or letter D, all of the above. Next, why do spiders, scorpions, mites, ticks, and termites belong to arachnid? Bakit sila arachnid? A. Because they have 6 legs. B. Because they have 10 legs. C. Because they have tentacles. Or D. Because they have shells. Okay, last. Which of the following group of invertebrates is a mollusk? Alin dyan ang mga mollusk? A. Mites, stick, and spider. B. Tapeworm, ascaris, and leech. C. Oyster, clams, and mussels. D. Starfishes, sea anemone, sea urchins. Okay, sagutan na natin. Number 1, B. Number 2, letter B. Number 3, A. Number 4, D. And number 5, C. So, ano ang score mo? Tama ka ba lahat? Magaling. So, next, matching type naman. Tingnan natin. I-match ang column A sa column B. Babasahin ko, hanapin niyo ang sagot dito. They have six legs and their bodies are divided into regions like head, thorax, and abdomen. The correct answer is insect. They have dry, tough, and scaly skin and cold-blooded. Examples nito ay crocodile and uh, mga lizards. Correct answer is reptiles. They are single-celled animals that are free-living or parasitic. The correct answer is E, protozoan. They are water animals with scales, fins, and tails for moving, and they use gills to breathe in the water. So, walang iba kundi mga fishes. They have exoskeletons that shed off and have 10 legs. Correct answer is G, crustacean. So, next. Yan ang tama sagot. So, again, this is Teacher Neri. Learning is fun and easy. So, don't forget to like, share, and follow. See you again.